had no choice but to become a comedian because funny follows me. I was in Mississippi, and I stopped to eat, and I ordered a salad. And the waitress said, what kind of dressing? I said, I want Caesar. She said, I don't know. She said, honey, so they come in these real easy to open packets. You won't need no Caesars. <laughs> and then I ordered a large Coke, and she said, we don't have large. We only have small and medium. Now, where I'm from, you need three sizes to have a medium. <laughs> Just give me that bigger one. <laughs> and I had a show in Indiana. And it was just across the Kentucky line, and right there's where the time zone changes. And I'd forgotten to ask where my show was, if, if they were on Central Time or Eastern Time. Well, I had to run into Walmart anyway, so I just grabbed a woman in the store, and I said, are you on Central Time or Eastern Time? She said, I don't work here. <laughs> and lately, I've been seeing these billboards everywhere that say, we buy ugly houses. Have you seen those? I called him up and gave my neighbor's address. <laughs> and my neighbor is a trip now. When she cuts her grass, she wears one of those surgical masks so she won't inhale any pollen. But then she stops for smoke breaks. <laughs> I told her she'll just cut her little hole in her mask. <laughs> but I recently had a very spiritual experience. I was down in Miami and I swam with the dolphins. Yeah, it was, it was so cool. Well, actually, it was only one dolphin, and that was a former dolphin. Um, <laughs> but it was life-changing. But they say the older you get, the wiser you get, and I do feel that I've finally discovered the meaning of life, pain management. <laughs> and it affects everything I do, even using a public restroom. Now I carry with me antibacterial wipes so I can clean the seat, because I no longer have the thighs to hover. <laughs> and now I'm starting to see more than just the physical signs of aging. You know, now I'm starting to see those other signs. Like when I'm driving, if I'm not sure where I'm going, I have to turn the radio down so I can see. <laughs> but my memory is so bad that a conversation with me has become like a game of charades. <laughs> the other day, I am trying to think of this actor's name, and I go, oh, you know, he has, he has dark hair. Um, <laughs> He, he, was, he was in the movie, um, I know, he married, <laughs> couldn't come up with anything, but then when it finally comes to me, it's like Tourette's. I'm standing in line at the grocery store. <laughs> and out of nowhere, I go, Matthew Broderick. <laughs> but, but I think it's because our brains are overloaded. There's too much information. All the numbers and pins and passwords. And the gadgets are getting smaller and smaller. I was reading that in the near future, in Japan, they're going to have a phone that you implant into your hand. Hello? <laughs> hey, can you hang on a second? I have another call coming in. Hello? <laughs> and even now they have the Bluetooth. Yeah, the other day I'm waiting for the elevator. Elevator doors open. 
Guy goes, hey. I said, hey. He goes, how you doing? He said, I'm good. He goes, I'm on the phone. I said, I am too. You gotta be quick. But I found a way to really make that work for me. Ran into a girl I went to high school with. She came running over and she went, Karen. I said, Kathy. And she said, no. She said, I'm Sarah. I said, I'm on the phone. 